amalgamation of companies. In this video, we are going to be solving the 2016 September paper of St. Boyce's College. So let's read the question first. Question number two. Following are the balance sheets of Anita Limited and Sunita Limited as on 31st December 2015. On the liability side, you have equity shares of rupees 10, 8% debentures, general reserve, dividend equalization reserve, employee provident fund and creditors. On the asset side, we have building machinery, stock debtors and cash. Then, Anita Limited and Sunita Limited have agreed to amalgamate and a new company Virat Limited is formed. Virat Limited takes over the assets and liabilities of both the firms on the following terms. Building of Anita Limited was taken over at book value and machinery at rupees 40,000. The other assets of Anita Limited are taken over at 10% depreciation. Liabilities such as creditors are taken over at rupees 48,000 and employees provident fund at book value. Anita Limited discharged 8% debentures at 10% premium. Realization expenses of Anita Limited amounted to rupees 1,000. All assets and liabilities of Sunita Limited are taken over at their book value. Both the companies to receive 10% net valuation of their respective business as goodwill. Purchase consideration payable to Anita Limited as rupees 30,000 cash and remaining balance in equity shares of rupees 10 each in Virat Limited. The entire purchase consideration payable to Sunita Limited is in the form of equity shares of rupees 10 each in Virat Limited. Close the books of Anita Limited and Sunita Limited and give opening journal entries in the books of Virat Limited. So firstly, we will start by calculating purchase consideration. If you read point number 6 and 7, it is said purchase consideration payable to Anita Limited as rupees 30,000 cash and remaining balance in equity shares of rupees 10 each in Virat Limited. So this purchase consideration will be calculated by net asset method. So let us solve now. Purchase consideration for Anita Limited. We start by taking agreed value of assets. Reading point number one. Building is taken at book value. That is 80,000. Machinery at 40. 40,000. The other assets are 10% less. So stock, which is 80,000, will be reduced by 10%. And that comes to 72,000. Debtors. 40,000 in the balance sheet. Less 10% reduction, which we know is for the reserve for doubtful debts, comes to 36,000. And cash, 20,000. Taking the total of the assets, it comes to 2,48,000. And we will deduct agreed value of liabilities. Creditors is taken over. Taken over at 48,000. And employees provident fund at book value. That is 4,000. Total of the liabilities taken over is 52,000. After deducting what we get is net valuation and that comes to 1,96,000 Point number 5 says both companies to receive 10% of net valuation of their respective business as goodwill so adding goodwill at the rate of 10% of net valuation which will be 19,600 what we will get is total purchase consideration and that comes to 2,15,600 2,15,600 is the total purchase consideration now purchase consideration of Anita Limited is discharged in two ways that is by cash rupees 30,000 and the remaining by equity shares the remaining amount that is 215,600 minus 30,000 
that is 185600 will be in the form of equity shares now let us calculate the purchase consideration for sunita limited in the same manner purchase consideration of sunita limited starting with agreed value of assets all assets and liabilities are taken at their book value so starting with the assets machinery is at 40000 sorry machinery is at 42000 stock at 10000 debtors at 12000 and cash 6000 Total comes to seventy thousand. Less agreed value of liabilities. And here we have only creditors. And the book value is thirty thousand. After deducting, we will get net valuation that comes to forty thousand. Adding goodwill. At the rate of ten percent of net valuation, that comes to rupees four thousand. Therefore, total purchase consideration that will amount to rupees forty four thousand. Now, purchase consideration of Sunita Limited is only in the form of equity shares. So, this entire forty four thousand will be received in the form of equity shares. Now we have to close the books of Anita and Sunita Limited. So the ledger accounts to be drawn are as follows. The first in the books of Anita Limited. We will draw the realization account. Then below that the new company that is Virat Limited account. Then you have, have equity shares in Virat Limited account. cash account and finally the equity shareholders account and the same accounts will appear also in the books of sunita limited let us first finish passing entries in the books of anita limited starting with the balance sheet the asset side we'll go to realization account debit as two sundry assets here we will be looking at only the balance sheet values so from the beginning building 80000 machinery 46000 stock 80000 debtors 40000 and cash 20000 cash is also taken over now the liability side share capital equity shares of 10 each will go to the shareholders account 8% debentures to realization account credit general reserve also will be transferred to shareholders dividend equalization reserve also goes to shareholders account credit side employees provident fund and creditors both are liabilities will go to realization account credit side so starting from equity shares we will go to shareholders account equity shareholders account credit side by equity share capital and the amount is 120000 the next 8% debentures is a liability realization account credit side by sundry liabilities 8% debentures and the value is 20000 below that there is general reserve transfer to shareholders account credit side by general reserve 
dividend equalization reserve again part of shareholder by dividend equalization reserve is 42000 the next employee provident fund and creditors both liabilities employee provident fund Four thousand and creditors fifty thousand. All the assets and liabilities have been transferred to realization account, and amounts belonging to the shareholders have been transferred to the shareholders account. The next step is entry for PC due, which will be new companies account debit. In this case, Virat Limited account debit side to realization account for PC due. And the amount is two lakh fifteen thousand six hundred. Corresponding credit effect in realization account, credit side, by Virat Limited account for PC due two fifteen six hundred. The next will be for receiving the purchase consideration, and in this case it is received in two ways. One is by cash, and one is by equity shares. So entry for receiving purchase consideration will be cash account debit. We have a cash account, cash account debit side to Virat Limited account. Cash received is thirty thousand. Then equity shares in Virat Limited to Virat Limited account. The value of shares is in the balance that was one eighty five six hundred. And the corresponding credit effect in Virat Limited's account on the credit side by cash account thirty thousand, and by equity shares in Virat Limited one eighty five six hundred. Now reading the adjustments further. Point number one was for purchase consideration. Point number two, Anita Limited discharged eight percent debentures at ten percent premium. Anita Limited is paying off liability. When the liability was brought into the books, it was credited eight percent debentures twenty thousand. Now while paying off the liabilities, cash will go out, and realization account will be debited as to cash account. Eight percent debentures are being paid. And they are being paid at ten percent premium, so amount to be paid will be twenty thousand plus ten percent. That comes to twenty two thousand. And point number three: realization expenses of Anita Limited amounted to one thousand, so we are also paying realization expenses. Amounting to one thousand rupees. Total expenditure in cash is twenty three thousand. And cash is going out, so cash account credit side by realization account. Debentures and realization expenses paid. Total amount was twenty three thousand. That's it. All the points relating to Anita Limited have been taken care of. Now it is time to close the books of accounts, starting with the realization account. The difference will be transferred to the shareholders account. So credit side being greater. The total is two eighty nine six hundred. And this will be transferred to equity shareholders account. The balancing figure is six hundred rupees.
एंड क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर्स अकाउंट बाय रियलाइजेशन अकाउंट सिक्स हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट अकाउंट इज विराट लिमिटेड अकाउंट एंड दैट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन क्लोज टोटल ऑन बोथ साइज इज टू लैक फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड next account is equity shares in virat limited these shares will be transferred to the equity share holders by equity share holders account 185600 and equity share holders account debit side to equity shares in virat limited account One eighty-five six hundred. The balance in cash account will also be transferred to equity shareholders account. One equity shareholders account. The balance is rupees seven thousand. Then equity shareholders account debit side to cash account seven thousand. Finally, the equity shareholders account should tally if everything is done right. In this case, the total on both sides is one ninety two six hundred. That's it. The books of Anita Limited have been closed. The same procedure will be followed for closing the books of Sunita Limited. So, step one will be transferring all the assets and liabilities to realization account at book values. So, looking at the balance sheet, the asset side to sundry assets, one below the other, machinery taken at book value forty two thousand, stock ten thousand, debtors is twelve thousand, and cash six thousand rupees. On the liability side, there is share capital of forty thousand. Transfer to the shareholders account. Credit side by equity share capital account. Forty thousand. And creditors of thirty thousand transfer to realization account. Credit side by sundry liabilities. Creditors value is thirty thousand. Next step is entry for PCDU new company account that is Virat Limited account debit to realization account for PCDU and the amount of purchase consideration was forty four thousand corresponding effect in realization account credit side by Virat Limited account forty four thousand. Next entry for receiving the purchase consideration. Here, the whole purchase consideration is received in the form of shares. So equity shares in Virat Limited account debit to Virat Limited account forty four thousand worth of shares and credit side of Virat Limited account by equity shares in Virat Limited account forty four thousand. The next there are no realization expenses of Sunita Limited, and no other adjustments also are to be done. So we can straight away close the books of Sunita Limited now, starting with the realization account. Again, the credit side is greater. Total is seventy-four thousand. And the difference will go to the shareholders, equity shareholders account. The difference is four thousand rupees. So therefore, equity shareholders account credit side will be 
by realization amount 4000 the new company's account will always close total is 44000 on both the sides equity shares in virat limited will be transferred to the shareholders by equity shareholders account 44000 and shareholders account debit side to equity shares in Virat limited account 44,000 and the total on both sides is 44,000 that's it books of Sunita limited also have been closed now the next part of the question is Opening journal entries in the books of Virat Limited, that is the new company. So let's pass entries in the books of the new company, that is Virat Limited. In the books of Virat Limited, there are mainly three journal entries. The first one for taking over the business entry will be business purchase account debit. to liquidator of Anita Limited and to liquidator of Sunita Limited. Amount due to liquidator of Anita Limited was 2,15,600 and to liquidator of Sunita Limited was 44,000. So total amount payable was 259,600. The narration will be being business purchased of Anita Limited and Sunita Limited. Being business of Anita Limited and Sunita Limited purchased. The next entry will be for takeover of assets and liabilities. So one company at a time. Now for passing this entry, you need to look at the purchase consideration statement. So looking at the purchase consideration statement. All assets account debit. So starting from the beginning, building account debit. Looking at the PC statement, building value is 80,000. Machinery account debit. Forty thousand. Stock account debit. Seventy two thousand. Debtors account debit. Now debtors, we will write the full value, the book value in the debit and the RDD part we will write in the credit. So book value was 40,000. Cash account debit, 20,000. And one more asset that is goodwill account debit, which we calculated as a percentage of net valuation. Goodwill was 19,600. To all the liabilities, the first one always being Reserve for doubtful debts. That is RDD 4000. It was 10% of the debtors amount. 10% of 40,000, 4000. The next two creditors 48,000. Two employees stored in fund account. Four thousand and to business purchase account. The amount of purchase consideration that is two lakh fifteen thousand six hundred. And the total of all the debits and credits should match. The narration will be being assets and liabilities. Of Anita Limited taken over. Now we will pass a similar entry for taking over assets and liabilities of Sunita Limited. Entry number 3. Again looking at the purchase consideration statement. Machinery account debit. 42,000. Stock account debit. 
टेन थाउजेंड डेटर्स अकाउंट डेबिट ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड कैश अकाउंट डेबिट सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड गुडविल अकाउंट डेबिट फोर थाउजेंड दीज आर ऑल दैसेस टू ऑल दी लाइबिलिटीज टू क्रेडिटर्स दैट इज दी लाइबिलिटी थर्टी थाउजेंड and to business purchase account the amount of purchase consideration 44000 same narration being assets and liabilities of sunita limited taken over now let's pay off the liquidator of each company entry number 4 liquidator of anita limited account liquidator of anita limited account debit that is 215600 to cash account 30000 was paid in cash and to equity share capital account for issuing shares the balance amount was 185600 being purchase consideration settled for being purchase consideration paid and one more entry for paying of liquidator of sunita limited entry number 5 liquidator of sunita limited account debit 44000 and this was entirely paid by shares issuing shares so to equity share capital account Forty-four thousand. Being PC of Sunita Limited paid. That's it. This is the solution for the September two thousand sixteen amalgamation question.